26. He said, if any man serve me, him will my father honor. Him will my father honor. If any man serve me, let him follow me. Where I am, there, there shall my servant be also. Intimacy. But if any man serve me, him will my father honor. He was speaking in Luke 16, 13. He said, no man can serve two masters. You cannot serve two masters. Luke 16, 13. You cannot serve two masters. It's either you hate one or love the other. In Deuteronomy 28, I believe verse 47, he says, Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness of heart, gladness of heart, and abundance of all things. And verse 28 says, Thou shalt serve the 48 rather, thou shalt serve the enemies. That's not your portion. Joshua was talking to the people in Joshua 24, 15. He said, choose you this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my household, we shall serve the Lord. So what you do while you are expecting a turnaround from the Lord is to keep serving. In your local church, in the place of worship, in the assignment God has given you, in the secret place, as you study the word of God in prayer, as you follow God biblically, loving people, who God wants you to love, helping the poor God wants you to help, being a blessing to the church as God wants you to be, all of those are acts of service. Act of service. While you are waiting for God to do what he has said in your life. Like I said, even though that is not your priority, I like what the three Hebrew boy said. In Daniel chapter 3 verse 17, he said, God is able to deliver us from this burning fiery furnace and to deliver us out of the hand. They told Nebuchadnezzar, we said, see, even if our God does not deliver us, even if our God does not deliver us, we will not still bow down. In other words, we have come to a point that even if there's no reward for praying, we love God enough to talk to him. Even if we pray and don't say answer, no problem. We are in love with God. He said, baby, 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 but if not, see that verse 18, but if not, they were telling Nebuchadnezzar, even if God does not, until you get to that point, that kind of resolve with God, to say, Lord, I love you not because of what I want from you. I love you because of who you are. Even if I pray and don't see these things happen in my life, it's not going to change how I feel about you, what I feel about you, how I see you. Because I already love you. That's what it means to love God. It's premised on nothing. It's platformed on nothing. Your love for God is not because of what he can give to you. It's because of who he is. So, I need you to just understand that. Share this link and touch the like button, everybody. We are about to consider something very judgmental from the word of God. David said, I'm for peace. Psalm 120 verse 7. But when I speak, they are for war. So, it's war time. Get someone. Share the link. And everybody online, go ahead and just click the like button. Touch, smash that button now. And if you've not subscribed, subscribe because we're in the season of revival. Videos are popping. Your life is going to be on fire. Yeah, man. You're making things too hot and hard for the devil. Satan is getting choked every day. And it's about to be your season when God will enlist you and make you a partaker of this revival fire. Yeah, in man. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah, Amen. Man. Thank you, Father. From the pages of my heart Let my worship begin and never end To the God of all flesh From the pages of my heart Let my worship begin and never end To the God of all flesh From the pages of from the pages of my heart Let my worship begin and never end To the God of all flesh From the pages of my heart Let my worship begin and never end To the God of all flesh from the pages of my heart Let my worship begin and never end
to the God of our flesh. So from the pages, from the pages of my heart, let my worship begin and never end to the God of our flesh. From the pages of my heart, let my worship begin and never end to the God of our flesh. From the pages of my heart, let my worship begin and never end to the God of our flesh. You are my God and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. You are my God and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. You are my God, and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. You are Adonai, faithful is your name. Miracle walking Father. God most I You are Adonai Faithful is your name Miracle walking Father Lord most I You are Adonai You are Adonai Faithful is your name Miracle walking Father you are God most high. You are Adonai. You are Adonai. Faithful is your name. Miracle walking Father. You are God most high. You are Adonai. You are Adonai. Faithful is your name. Miracle walking Father, you are God most high. You are Adonai, you are Adonai. Faithful is your name. Miracle walking Father, you are God most high. You are Adonai, you are Adonai. Faithful is your name. Miracle walking Father, you are God most high. Alok Barab, you are the mighty God. Eila Tobi Jew, you are the glorious God. Alok Barab, you are the mighty God. Ayla Tobi Jew, you are the glorious God. Alak Bara, you are the mighty God. Ayla Tobi Jew, you are the glorious God. Alak Bara, you are the mighty God. Hey, let be you. You are the glorious God. Alak Barab. You are the mighty God. Hey, let be you. You are the glorious God. Alak Ah, ah, 
Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. In Numbers chapter, chapter 16, Numbers 16, verse 13, Number 16 and verse 30 says, But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth, and swallow them up with all that pertain unto them, and they go down quickly to the pit, then shall ye understand that these men have provoked the Lord. This was a case of Korah, Datan, and Abiram. Korah, Dat, and Abiram were men who provoked and stirred up a controversy in the camp. This was the first conspirators in the camp, among the fold, that rose up their heads when Moses was leading the people. The Bible says, and they came and said to Moses, you take too much on yourself. The Bible called them number 16, verse 1, Korah, Dat, and Abiram. And they were angry at Moses. And the Bible says, Moses said, if these people, if their judgment is normal, is the regular occurrence, he said, then they will not fear the Lord. But if the Lord causes a new thing to happen, and these men are swallowed up, and all that they have, he said, then they shall know. We are going to take this prayer today, we are going to take it tomorrow. I'm going to take it from different angles. Different angles, revelationally. And it says, if this man sees something regular, they will not fear the Lord. One of the things I'd like you to understand is that God is a God of justice. God is a God of judgment. And God is never behind conspiracy. It wasn't just one person. It was three of them who came together. Korah means bald. That's what Korah means. That one is one who's like a child of the spring. You can tempt that to be a power of the marines. Abiram means loftiness, arrogance, pride. 
And every conspiracy a man will ever encounter is on the premise of these three factors. These three factors. And the Bible says, in 2 Samuel, I believe, 15, 12, I think, the Bible says, and the conspiracy was very strong. When there was a conspiracy against David, orchestrated by Absalom, the conspiracy was palpable. You could feel it. You could touch it. The Bible says, and it was strong in the time of David. God is against conspiracy. Anywhere you see people conspiring against a person, against an organization, against anyone, God is never in support. And, I, and Absalom sent for Ahithophel the Gileonite, David's counselor, from his city, even from Gilo, while he offered sacrifices, and the conspiracy was strong, and the people increased continually with Absalom. Anywhere, let me tell you something. If people conspire against you, God will rise against them. And if you are the one conspiring against people, God will rise against you. Avoid conspiracy. Avoid being in a clique or sitting down with people who are plotting how to get somebody down. Now, let me tell you something. If you are plotting against somebody, even if the person is guilty, the fact that you conspired at all, God takes a stand with that person. That's how it works. Because right from the time when the enemies rebelled, when Satan rebelled and rebelled against God, it was a conspiracy. God has never, from that time in memorial till now, has never been in support of conspiracy. Anywhere God sees conspiracy, God stands against it. So even if somebody offends you, and you decide to get people, sit with people, let's see how we can deal with this person, on the spot, the man or the woman or the individual that was guilty suddenly gets God's support. So you must stand against conspiracy and you must not be a part of it. This was the prayer Moses prayed. He said, let the ground open and swallow. That's what we are going to pray today. And every conspirator working hard to frustrate me, let the ground open and swallow them. Amen. Amen. People do not understand that the God of service is a God of mercy, but it's the God of, of, of judgment. Psalm 136 verse 1. He was talking about God and his mercies enduring forever. Psalm 136 verse 1. 136 verse 2. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his mercies endure it forever. For his good, his mercies endure it forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of God for his mercies endure it forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lord for his mercies endure it forever. To him alone who do our great wonders for his mercies endure it forever. To him that smote Egypt, verse 10. To him that smote Egypt and their firstborn for his mercies endure it forever. So when God shows your enemy judgment, is actually communicating mercy to you. People don't understand this dimension of God. Oh, God is a good God. Of course, God is a good God. But it's a God of justice. It's a God of justice. Justice is not wickedness. Justice is recompense. Second Thessalonians 1 verse 6 is a righteous thing for God. It's a righteous thing for God to recompense tribulation. To them that trouble you. It's a right chance thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. You can bring on that translations up. It's a right chance thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. To them that trouble you. He says, but justice is on the way. When the master Jesus appeared out of heaven in the blaze of fire with his strong angels, it will even score up. It will even up the score by settling accounts with those who gave you such a bad time. Those who gave you a bad time. He said, it is, TPT says, it is right and just for God to trouble your troublers. So if people are telling you that God does not do it, God, no, this is what the Bible says. You can get on that translation. For after all, it is only just for God to repay with distress those who distress you. That's what the word of God says. He says God will do what is right. He will bring suffering on those who make you suffer. That's what the Bible says. The righteous thing with God to recompense affliction to them that afflict you. It's a righteous thing with God to give back to those troubling you trouble. So the word of God is clear on this matter. It's clear on this issue that God is a God that is ready to give tribulation to them that trouble you. One time when Jesus was born, even at infancy, the Messiah, El Shaddai, Elohim at infancy, in Matthew chapter 2 verse 20, he said, Arise, 
Take the young child back. For they are dead. We sought the young child's life. They are dead that seek your life. Amen. They are dead that seek your life. Amen. They are dead that seek your life. Amen. In Galatians 5.10, it says, I have confidence in you throughout the Lord. That you be none otherwise minded. But he that troubleth you shall bear the judgment, whosoever he be. God is a God of justice. Everyone walking, every conspirator walking hard to frustrate me. Let the ground open and swallow them. Amen. amen. Your amen is too weak. Let the ground open and swallow them. Amen. amen. Let the ground open and swallow them. Amen. amen. Let the ground open and swallow them. Amen. amen. But if the Lord make a new thing on the earth, open our mouth. What has never happened before? What has never happened before? before. God is not behind evil gang up. Conspirators! You know the Bible says in Isaiah 54 verse 15, they shall surely gather, but not by me. What did God say he will do? He says, as many as gather together against you, they shall fall for thy sake. So God is not in support of it. In Isaiah chapter 9, chapter 8 verse 9, associate yourself, O ye people. Associate yourself, O ye people, you shall be broken in pieces. Give ear, O of our countries, of our, of our countries. Guide yourself, it shall be broken in pieces. Guide yourself, it shall be broken in pieces. Verse 10, why? Why? Verse 10, he said, take counsel together, it shall not stand. Speak the word, it shall come to naught. Why? The Lord is with us. So God is never in support of conspiracy. We're going to lift up our voice now in the place of prayer and pray loud and clear. Every conspirator, every conspirator, every conspirator working hard to frustrate me in life and destiny, let the ground open and swallow them. Amen. All the conspirators, all the conspirators, you know, when they come together, this brings his own counsel, this brings his counsel, this brings his implementation. When they are doing that, they forget that there is God. Hey! There is God. God is still God. Halama shakata. When people are fighting, you go, go, go hold on to the arms of the other. God is still God. I'd like you to type that down. God is still God. God is still God. No matter the gang up and the uprising against you, God is still God. Amen. God is still God. Amen. We're going to say that seven times before we scatter in prayers. God is still God. Type that down on your handle. God is still God. Type it down on your handle. Type it down on your social media handle, on your WhatsApp story, everywhere. Saturate it. God is still God. God is still God. He has not gone on transfer. He's still God. He's still God. The God that made the heavens and the earth. The one that laid the beams of his chambers on the water, that walks upon the wing of the wind as a chariot, that covered himself with light as with a garment, stretched for the heavens as a curtain, that sit on the circuits of the earth and the sons of men as grasshopper, that maketh his angel spirits and his minister flames of fire. He is still God. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost as I say that. He's still God. He's faithful to his word. Let them gather. The way they gather, that's how they will scatter. Amen. Amen. They will fight themselves. Amen. Amen. See, why do the hidden read Psalm chapter 2? And the people imagine the vain thing, the kings of the earth take counsel against God and his anointed. But he that sitted in heaven shall laugh. He shall laugh them in derision. All the conspirators working hard to frustrate me in life and in destiny. Let the ground open and swallow them. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, my father, my father. My my father, father, my father. father. Shout it loud and clear. My my father, father, my father. Let the enemy hear your voice. My my father, father, my father. Father. As I begin to pray. All the conspirators. All the conspirators. I can hear you. All the conspirators. All the conspirators. Working hard to frustrate me. Working hard to frustrate me. In life and destiny. Let the ground open and swallow them. Let the ground open and swallow them. 
open and swallow them. Let them open the ground, open and swallow them. Let them open and swallow them. All the conspirators, all the conspirators, all the conspirators, walking out of frustrate me, walking out of frustrate me, life and destiny. Let the ground open and swallow them. 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 Open your mouth and fire prayers. Shut up, 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 shut up
Look at that portion again. Something's about to happen. Amen. Hey, something's about to happen. Amen. Amen. No matter what the conspiracy is, it will fail. Amen. Amen. I'm going to shout seven times God is still God. God is still God. Amen. God is still God. Yeah, 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 God. Yeah, God. Number one. God, God, God. is God. 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 As we are shouting this now, all those who have conspired against you, they will scatter. Amen. Amen. As you shout, God is still God, all those who have submitted documents, who have brought materials, who have sponsored things against you, those things will catch fire. Amen. Amen. All those who have reached out to people against you, those people will disappoint them. Amen. As you shout, God is still God. God is still God. God is still God. Number one. God, God is still God. Shout again. God, God is still God. God. Shout again. God, God, is God. God is still God. Hear this. But if the Lord make a new thing, <laughs> somebody say God will do a new thing. God, God will do a new thing. thing. God will do a new thing. God, God, God will do a new thing. thing. If the Lord make a new thing and the earth open our mouth something that has not happened before Moses said let the ground open and swallow them the bible says from right to me they were standing the ground open from underneath them and swallow them but yeah what Moses said now if the lord make a new thing but if the lord make a new thing and the earth open our mouth and swallow them up god is a god of new things and your life, it will do a new thing. Amen. Amen. In Isaiah 48, verse 6, we see that God is a God of new things. In Isaiah 42, verse 9, we see that God is a God of new things. In fact, in Isaiah 43, verse 19, he openly declared, Behold, Isaiah 43, 19, Behold, I will do a new thing. Father, do a new thing in my life. Amen. That will make my enemies tremble. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, arise. 
do a new thing in my life that will make my enemies tremble. Amen. Amen. That will make the enemies tremble. Amen. Amen. Conspirators tremble. Amen. Haters tremble. Amen. Amen. Do a new thing. Somebody say, my father, my father. My, my father, father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Lord, 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 oh, Let's <laughs> go. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Every conspiracy against you. All the conspirators as they gather. May the ground open and swallow them. Amen. May the ground open and may they be covered in it. Amen. May the ground open and swallow them. Amen. Father, you said in your word, they shall surely gather, but not by you. And I'm also Prahadia Dish. And I too love a cigarette to heart a mountain. And the most of the Hayatina Grasa Cacacula Rayateba Lina Solo Stolo Braha Catina Sola Ratia. And the Vos Alayavanta La Manu Suprahadia La Cana Coco Palabasique. Mentola was a crash telia tata loro so balarata la variate secadata. Men so palaratiana o so brigia la dede. The cosho quata lis ele calanta la basigo zigo zalata. Vreco chati bragahandi la casusu. Embruka la calasile colocobaca ligemananta. As they rise, so shall they fall. Amen. 
I see someone in a, in a ship. Someone on a ship. I don't know. It's a white ship. S-H-I-P. On the sea. And I'm seeing God deliver that person from a strange, deadly attack right now. Amen. Amen. Someone, a pair of shoes, one leg of it is missing. And that leg that is missing from the pair of shoes, that shoe leg that is missing, that shoe that's missing, you know, from that day, that particular leg started feeling burning sensations. Whatever they have done with your material, I nullify it and I command it to backfire. Amen! Emilia, God says, I should tell you, Emilia, that the strong man in your family is dead. Amen! A prophecy for one is a prophecy for all. A strong man is dead. Amen! Amen. I'm seeing somebody, anytime you're expecting something good, a bed will appear to you. But there's something about this bed. It has a long beak. It just looks, when it appears to you, this is what it does. It looks, it looks, it looks. It doesn't do anything. You notice the beak is long. The bed will just look, 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 and it will disappear. Just go away. As soon as you see that, no matter what you're expecting, it doesn't come. A bed, black bed. It has a long beak. It just looks, turn, 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 and as soon as that happens, you never see what you are looking for. Things always go bad. Today, the bed is dead. Amen! For you to know that this is strange, you are going to see a physical bed dead Amen. by your door. Amen. You are going to see it by your house, a physical bed dead. Amen. This is to confirm to you what has happened in the spiritual. There's someone by the name of Pua. I'm saying P-U-A-H. 